has been uh, it's been working out great. I mean, it's been uh, like a, I guess it's it's a real like tractor of airships. It has a lot of lift. Um, it's very reliable for us, and uh, they're sticking with what's reliable. It works great now. On the technology side of that, though, a lot has changed. Like the avionics have changed. Uh, we have some. Uh, they've made a lot of improvements, like as far as like weather capability. Uh, gives you so much situational awareness in the ship, and for a blimp, that's really important. Uh, and so for us, that's the neat thing is that we have so much weather in there. It's you become like a little. You become a meteorologist on board, really, just because of the ship's. Um, the, you know, the avionics technology is just great. It's still a little. I mean, it's a little weird. You hop back into an airplane. Um, and uh, number one, because there's no yoke and the blimp, there's no stick, uh, you, uh, you learn to fly with the pedals. You know, you're, you're doing actually just yaws left and right. So you're using the rudder pedals to, to turn left and right. Correct. Just to coordinate, yeah, bit, just yeah. to coordinate the turn. Whereas in a blimp, you're mashing all in on them. So now when I hop back in a plane, it takes me about, about half an hour to like, you know, calm down on the rudder pedals and focus more on the yoke. But uh, we have an elevator wheel as opposed to the yoke or stick. We have a wheel, so if, if we want to climb, we'll pull the wheel back. If we want to dive, we'll push the wheel forward, and that just moves the huge elevator fins on the tail. The reason why they use a wheel uh, instead of a stick or a yoke is just because the throw is so far that you wouldn't get it out of a yoke. You know? And to make it more agile, being such a huge machine, you need to have a huge wheel to, 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 to perform that task. Um, another big thing about blimps is, is helium pressure. We watch helium pressure like an airplane pilot would watch uh, your airspeed indicator. For us, that's one of the most critical parts of, of the blimp. Is the, uh, the Goodyear blimp is just the helium pressure. Um, there's no internal structure inside at all. There's no framework. Uh, the integrity of the ship, the frame, is actually just air. I mean, helium pressure, and uh, we maintain that by these uh, ballonets. Ballonets are French for a little balloon. You have one in the nose, one in the tail, and they're just filled with air. What happens, uh, they just inflate and deflate, uh, corresponding to the change in helium volume. It's like on a hot day, like when the sun comes up, heats up the helium, helium expands, these air, bla these air bladders, the ballonets, will deflate the air out, and that's how you maintain pressure. Uh, it's fun, you make a lot of good friends, but they come from different parts of the states, so it's sad when you, you know, when you might move to another operation and you have to uh, reacquaint yourself, but uh, everybody shares the same passion for, for uh, uh, these big, uh, uh, aerial ambassadors.